One day my mom grounded me, which means I didn't have my phone, so I didn't have an alarm clock, so I overslept for school the next day. My brother drives me to school, and since I didn't have a phone, I didn't know that there was no school because of a snowstorm. Me and my brothers, both being dumbasses, don't see that there's no cars in the parking lot. So my brother drops me off and speeds away. I'm knocking on the door for like 20 minutes waiting for them to let me in. Nobody opens the door, bro. I'm like, is there no school today? Boom, it starts to snow, and I'm like, oh fuck, I'm wearing ripped jeans with no jacket. I'm like, oh shit, what do we do now? I live like 15 minutes driving from the school. So I'm walking around looking if I can use somebody's phone. I knock on this lady's door. She opens up and I'm like, ma'am, can I please use your phone? I think she had dementia because she starts screaming at me. She's like, no, no, slams the door in my face. I finally find an angel like two streets down. And she's like, oh, of course, princess, come inside. And in my mind, I'm like, I've seen the horror movies. Thank you, ma'am, but I'm just going to stay outside. I call my mom to pick me up. And she's like, pick you up from where? I'm like, I don't know. I've been walking for two hours. Story time about how I crashed my dad's really expensive car. So a little background information. My mom had just got remarried to my stepdad three years ago. And he was this rich asshole who owned a bunch of food trucks and thought he was the shit. Well, at the time I also had a boyfriend. And we had only been dating for like a month and a half. But my boyfriend would always beg me to let him drive my stepdad's car. And I always said no because that was like his child. Like he had children. He could care less about them. His car was more important. Anyway, so the one weekend my parents are out of town and one of my friends was throwing a graduation party. So that whole day my boyfriend was trying to talk me into taking the car and I already knew where my stepdad hid the keys. So I just decided I wouldn't drink that night and I would just take the car. He kept asking me if he could drive but clearly I said no because this kid literally told me that he crashed the first two cars that he had. So we get to the party, we're having a good time, and one of my friends tells me that everybody's taking pictures with my car outside. Like for part two. Do you know the story behind your zodiac sign? Here's one of the weirdest zodiac sign stories out there. This is the origin story of Capricorn. The story begins when Mother Earth had some serious beef with the gods, enough that she sent a fire-breathing monster named Typhon to fight them. And this is where the forest god Pan comes in. He had legs and horns of a goat. He told Zeus and the other gods to disguise themselves as animals in order to avoid Typhon. And while the other gods were disguised, Typhon approached Pan and was about to attack. So Pan panicked and jumped into the river Nile. Because of this, the lower half of his body, which was underwater, transformed into a fish, while the upper half stayed a goat. So that's why we have this sea goat creature to represent Capricorn, but that's not all. Zeus ended up battling Typhon and had the muscles in his hands pulled out. Pan healed him, which allowed Zeus to defeat Typhon in the end. Because of this, Zeus immortalized the image of Pan in the sky as the constellation of Capricorn. But which zodiac sign should I talk about next? Follow to see the rest of the series. Story time about how my neighbor killed my dog. So a little background information. When I was about three years old, my parents got me a German Shepherd. And my neighbors who lived next to us absolutely loved our dog. And so did their kids. Like their dad literally put a doggy door in the fence. So that way our dog could go back and forth from our house to his house. Well, when I was about eight years old, my neighbors decided to sell their house. So he told us that he had to take out the doggy door because the people that were buying his house hated animals. Well, the people who had just bought his house, they ended up moving in before he could take out the doggy door. So our new neighbors asked us if we could put like a piece of plywood in front of the door so that way our dog couldn't get through. And they said that they would do the same to their side of the fence. So my dad said, yeah, he put a piece of plywood in front of there. Well, my dog, Gabe... The one night that my brother let him out, he ended up getting the plywood off of the doggy door. Well, my brother literally had to crawl through the doggy door to get the dog before one of them saw him in the yard. Like, Story time, my best friend cheated on his girlfriend with me. So a little background information. So Gavin and I have been best friends ever since we were little. We lived in the same neighborhood. And my parents and his grandparents were like pretty close, I guess. But like everybody in our neighborhood was close with each other. And I always had a huge crush on him. And I would try to, like, subtly tell him that I liked him. But he would always be like, ooh, don't joke with me like that. Like, that's not true. And eventually, I just kind of got the hint that that was his way of telling me, I don't like you. Stop before I tell you in a mean way. So when we were in middle school, he was always having these, like, two-day relationships with all these girls and everything. And me, not so much because sis didn't have a glow up until she reached, like, her sophomore year in high school. And the thing was, I wasn't that best friend who would be like, ooh, don't date her, like, she's ugly, or anything like that. Like, I would totally respect all of his relationships, even if they were two days long. But he would literally still block me. Well, the one day we were hanging out at his house, like, for part two. Am I the asshole for being in my underwear at home? I love my mom, and she's on vacation, so I've had the place to myself this week, which was nice. 
I was walking around in just my panties sometimes because I was home alone and the blinds were shut. One morning, that's all I was wearing, my mom's boyfriend came through the door. He and my mom don't live together and he has his own place with his son who is in his early 20s. He doesn't have a key here, but he used the key that my mom put under the doormat to come in. Previously, he's only been here when my mom was here unless she ran to the store and he was already here. Luckily, I turned around and started walking to my room so he didn't see my cleavage, thank God, but he still saw what I was wearing by seeking the back of me. Not him, nor my mom told me in advance that he was coming. I got dressed and then he started yelling at me for walking around in just my underwear. Am I the asshole for liking a guy in my friend group? I, female 17, am part of an all-guy friend group except for one other girl. This guy I like is male 18 and we have a rule that we cannot date other people in the friend group, but you can hook up with them. This guy just entered the group a few months ago and I realized I've started to catch feelings for him. And people have started to catch on to us flirting. The other night we were at our hangout spot and I said I was going to go to Sonic and he came with. We had a good conversation but all the rest of our friend group thought we went to go hook up. Well, today he got added to our Life360 group and he said, do you like my profile photo? To the group and when I look it's a photo of a girl. I left the group on red and everyone asked who it was, and he said, oh, don't worry about it. Well, tomorrow we were supposed to do our tradition of not getting ready and just going to breakfast. And I don't know if I want to go because I really just don't want to hear about this new girl. So, am I the asshole for all this? You guys can always submit stories on my Instagram DM. Am I the asshole for not growing and dyeing my hair for my sister's wedding? I don't think I look good with platinum hair and I don't want to give up haircuts for a year and walk around with a mullet and other awkward styles. I told my sister I'm not changing my hair for her wedding and my sister yelled at me and sent me an angry email. My mother sided with my sister and says I'm not being supportive and putting my wants ahead of hers on my sister's day. My father just says to listen to my sister and mother and my mother actually called me an asshole and my sister says her pictures won't look right if I don't change my hair. My mom said that we'll talk next time I'm home because I'm out of state for medical school right now. I could use an outside perspective. Am I being unreasonable by refusing to change my hair at my sister's request? Story time about how my boyfriend found out that I was cheating on him with his best friend. So a little background information. We're gonna call my boyfriend Tyler. Tyler and I had been dating since he was 16 and I was 13. And now it was my freshman year in high school and his senior year. And we're gonna call his best friend Jaden. Now there was one really big problem with Tyler and I's relationship. I was pretty much dating Jaden too. Now if you don't get what I mean by that, Jaden was there for literally every single thing that we did in our relationship. Anytime I would invite Tyler over, guess who was walking in right behind him? Jaden. Anytime that Tyler and I went on dates, guess who was there? Jaden. And there wouldn't even be another girl there. He would literally just third wheel on our dates. And I talked to Tyler about it before and he's like, well I don't know what you want me to do, he's my best friend. So fast forward, the one day Tyler and Jaden are both over my house, like for part two. Story time about how my best friend got with my boyfriend. Whenever I was in sixth grade, my mom had put me in the summer camp. And that's where I met my best friend, Jenna. Well, any boys that I liked at summer camp, Jenna would try and go after them. So fast forward, Jenna and I never went to the same school, which was so nice because I could literally tell her about any guy that I liked and she would not know who the hell it was. Okay, guys, real quick before...